Hey guys, welcome back. All right, well, I got a few more pieces to go to completing everything. Um, gonna work on the eccentric today. Now, um, I got this piece uh, sent it up in the four jaw chuck. Uh, it calls for an overall the diameter of 624 thousandths. Now, this piece of steel is already 624 thousandths, so there's nothing to really turn on this. Uh, as far as getting it outside uh, that diameter. Um, but what I did do is I did um, face this off in the front. All right, so I got my parting tool in here. It's 40 thousandths of an inch thick. Uh, I started here, I moved 40 thousandths in to take up for the width, and then I went an additional 75 thousandths. So I'll plunge in here, I'll take this groove down to um, um, an, a, a, an inside di a, a diameter of 490, uh, which equals um, 74 and a half thousandths on the cross leg. So let's go. plans uh, turns out I didn't make a mistake I didn't go over it's I got to go down to 475 so I got to go another 15 I got to go another 15 thousands uh, let's see 481 so I got to go to 475 so I'm sorry so that's um Six thousandths, which is another three thousandths on the cross slide. So, Okay, so I got the piece offset in the four jaw chuck. Um, it's a 100 thousandths offset. So that means it's going to be a, a, a 200 thousandths difference. Um, so um, this is on one side. That's once around. And this way is two thousandths. Uh, two hundred thousands. So now I'll come back and I'll start trimming the inside part of that uh, eccentric. All right, looking at this, um, I it'll still work. I, I kind of I should have did this the other way. I should have put this groove inside here and worked my way outside. Um, I don't have a a turning tool that faces to get a good shoulder on this so um, I'm gonna have to just use a parting tool to hob all that stuff down um, I gotta go I gotta make this diameter now a half inch diameter for a length of uh, 3 16 of an inch so um, I'm just gonna take my time and um, we'll just get it done Now this is going to be a little clunky until it starts cutting.
slowed the lead down a bit and um, oil up my reamer very good. That's it. Alright, the only thing let's do is part it off and drill a hole for the festival. Alright, let me bring you over here. We've got the um, we got the eccentric hub here. It's um, in the uh, milling machine. What I did was um, to locate the center um, of the bore. I used my edge finder, and um, I put the shaft in. The shaft is a quarter inch. So after I located the edge, I went over 125 thousandths, locked the x-axis. Then I took off this edge on the face here and um, centered it and went back um, 3 30 seconds of an inch half of the th half of the uh, 3 16 and I already put a center drill mark in there so um, what I'm going to do now I'm going to put a uh, let me look at my notes I'm going to put a number 38 uh, drill drill it and tap it for a 540 set screw so when I get that set up, I'll bring you back. So, uh, okay, so the eccentric hub is now complete.